Well, good morning. We are on Pattaya Beach and it is a beautiful Sunday morning. We got out nice and early before you get all the families that come down here. It'll get busier as the day goes because it's a beautiful day. Sunday is also a great day here in Pattaya because of the British influence, they do Sunday carvery. That's when they have all these great roasted meats and side dishes for a great price. And I love every Sunday to go figure out which restaurant I'm gonna go to for Sunday carvery. They're all great, but I always like trying something that maybe I haven't had in the past too. So I'm gonna take you along with me for that. A few great meals and a very important conversation. We've got a lot going on in this video. I also want to talk about a question that I get in the comment section a lot, which is about why I don't buy real estate here in Thailand. I'm in Thailand a lot. In fact, I'm in Indonesia, Vietnam. I head over to Malaysia a lot. Why don't I buy a condominium? Well, there's some very good reasons why I don't. And I want to explain to you so that you have that information when you make your decision of what you want to do. Do you want to buy a condominium? Or are you at least thinking about it as part of your retirement or part of your travel and living overseas? I want you to have as much information as possible. So I'll explain to you why I don't buy real estate overseas and what I do instead. Okay, we're gonna have a lot to talk about today and then we're gonna go get a great meal later. Let's go. So let's talk about why I do not buy condominiums in Thailand or in Vietnam or the Philippines, even though the prices are incredible. When you see the prices, you'll be like, what are we talking about? You can find an ocean front viewing the water, everything for $100,000, a beautiful condominium in a great building. You can find homes that are maybe, uh, you know, two or three blocks away, you know, maybe just outside of the action here in Pattaya for $50,000 American. That's incredible prices for real estate. And that is nothing in comparison to what they would be back in the US. In the US, an oceanfront condo would be a million dollars. Here, they're a hundred thousand dollars. So if you have those kind of prices, why are you not buying those condominiums? That's what I get asked all the time. Perfectly legitimate question. And it has to do with market dynamics. There are new condominiums coming on every single year here in Thailand. There are new condominiums coming on in Vietnam. New condominiums are being built all over Southeast Asia to try to keep up with the demand. The demand for condominiums is outrageous right now. And there's a new building getting basically opened with thousands of units, like every six months. Let's talk about market dynamics. When you're building a new condominium every six months and bringing thousands of units onto the market, your money is gonna be parked for 10 years at least, maybe even longer. That condominium that you buy is not gonna go up in value. And that's not the way that I invest. I don't invest to park my money for 10 years. If you buy a condominium for say $100,000 in Southeast Asia, 10 years from now, it may not go down in value, but it's also not gonna go up in value because there's too many units coming on the market. That's market dynamics, and you need to understand that before you make a large purchase. I got started today pretty early, and I didn't have any breakfast, so I'm gonna hop right across from the water here to this little pop-up that sells Indian food. I love Indian food, and Pattaya right now has so many different Indian restaurants. Whew, thanks. <laughs> I also like to go to these little pop-ups because a meal like this is only $4, a lot less than if I go to an Indian restaurant. And it's just a snack. It's like a breakfast for me. I go pick this up and then I can continue on. You know, talking about these condominiums, don't forget, when you own them, you still have to pay all the fees on them. The building fees. 
You've got maybe homeowners association. You've got taxes that go to the property. You've got utility costs. It's not saving you money to own these condominiums over staying at a hotel. I get all that stuff for free. Utilities, Wi-Fi, everything. By investing my money overseas, I am looking at parking my money for decades and getting no growth. That doesn't make sense to me. Instead, I invest in dividend stocks that give me a 6% return. I can invest in treasury bills that give me a 5% or, or even in better economic times, a 4% return. That's even better than zero, okay? Also, if I invest in growth stocks or real estate, I get a better return than any of those. You see, the idea of investing is that your money grows over time. You don't wanna park it somewhere. So even though there's a lure to buy one of these amazing condominium deals over here in Southeast Asia, I don't do it. That's my decision. Will that be right for everybody? No, but market dynamics don't lie. You can't flood the market with thousands of new units every year and think that the value of those units are gonna go up every year. It's not, that's not what happens. I want my investment money to grow. And so I invest it and I use the income from those investments to travel, to go to any country that I wanna go to, anywhere that I wanna go, stay in any hotel that I wanna stay in. I mean reasonable, you know, I can't stay in an expensive hotel, but I don't wanna stay in one place. Your situation may be different. You may be looking to stay in one place. If anything changes in that country, I just get on a plane and go, not leaving anything. You have to make a decision as to what is best for you. If you're ready to settle in one place and investing in that country is what you're looking to do, just be aware of how market dynamics work. You know what's best for you better than I do, okay? I will tell you that investing in a market where thousands of units come online every single year in all these different countries you're gonna get a great price, no doubt. You're gonna get a great price. Your money is not gonna go up in, in any way. You're not gonna make any growth in your investment. And that is what I invest for, is growth. <laughs> I want an income to live on as I travel, and I want my money to grow as well. Having income coming in every month, but no local investment gives me more freedom of mobility. I hope this has given you a little bit more information on this subject because I get a lot of people in my comment section that ask me, why don't you buy real estate in Thailand? You're there so much. It is true, I am. I'm here, you know, in a given year like this, I'll bounce around Southeast Asia and I'll come through Thailand three or even four times. That's a lot of time in one country. And if I had owned a condominium here, you know, I would probably stay in it while I'm here. But I'll tell you, I am now having the ability to travel to any city that I want, travel to any country I want. Inside of that country, I have flexibility. And the money that I have invested is invested so that it grows over time. That's what's best for me. And I hope this has given you a little bit more information as to what's best for you. Let me know in the comment section if you've considered buying real estate in Southeast Asia, what your thoughts are. Have I given you some ideas to think about? Or have you said, you know what? It doesn't matter to me, I'm buying. And I'd like to know, because I'm curious. With more information, you can make the best decision for you. Well, because it's Sunday, it's time to go grab ourselves a nice Sunday carvery meal, and I'm looking forward to that. If you're interested in knowing more about how I live overseas retired, what it costs me, and what my thoughts are on these matters. And I love answering your questions as much as I can. Like and subscribe to the video and come with me. We're gonna hit a lot of countries this year and we're gonna talk about a lot of things related to living overseas retired the way that I do. Okay, let's go grab a bite to eat. I'll let you go now. Aloha. <laughs> Cafe Patini, this place in Pattaya is a favorite for expats. Not only do they do an amazing job on the carvery, I mean, just check this out. Woo. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good, thank you. Oh my gosh, that looks wonderful. <laughs> 
with two meat selections, chicken and beef, this is $9. If you only choose one meat, this is $6, and it's fantastic. All the side dishes, the gravy, everything they do here is delicious. They also make all their desserts here fresh. They make their ice cream here fresh. A relaxed, clean, and professional place on Soy Bukau with great food any day. On my way back, I went through an alleyway and I was flanked by the mad dog. How you doing? Hey, hey buddy. dog of the soy right here watching me see that scooter's going by he's watching he's on patrol hey buddy <laughs> 